So it's Pat and JT? Where's, yeah. where's first Pat? Wait. <laughs> hold on. No, I kid. Uh, it's actually JT and Sasha. Hello. Hello. My goodness. Yeah, Pat. Uh, long story. I'm going to make him tell his own tales when he comes back. <laughs> um, but anyway, Sasha, thank you for popping in. Yes. I appreciate absolutely. it. Um, so here we are, post-storm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if we can do a podcast after a storm like that and not actually mention it. Yeah. Um, so we had gale force winds in Omaha. Mm-hmm. Uh, crazy 70 to 80 miles an hour is what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard. So how did you fare? Um, well, it looks like the Kool-Aid man busted through the back of our Isn't back there a challenge the right back. now too? I think there is. So I posted that on my Instagram and someone was like, look like someone did the Kool-Aid challenge in your backyard. I'm like, how do I know they didn't? I slept through the storm. <laughs> it would have been a perfect cover <laughs> if you were doing your, your TikTok challenge yeah. of the Kool-Aid man, which the little jerks have been doing all over Omaha. I saw that. Busting through people's fences. You know, do, they don't know, obviously, how expensive fences are. I know. So someday, I someday hope karma comes back oh, and gets will. them. It will. It will. <laughs> but yeah, so your fence took a beating or some of the fences in your neighborhood? Um, actually, our neighborhood wasn't too bad, but I think it's because there's a gigantic storage facility right across the street from our house, <laughs> um, like directly <laughs> across the street. So I think that that kind of helps to stop the majority of, of that. We so had some branches down and stuff, but yeah. nothing like what I saw all over the rest of Omaha. So that's a, that's a good thing you had this happen because now you have something in the pro column for having the storage facility behind yeah, you, right? Maybe the only one. So <laughs> <laughs> my gym stuff's there, but like that's, you know, but not that important. Still, I get it. No, I get it. I, and honestly, my neighborhood, um, I, I have to say, I didn't realize how bad it was until I, because I slept through everything. Yeah. Didn't hear sirens, woke up stretching, you know, right. oh, beautiful day, I can right. see the sun coming up, and I'm like, okay, here we go, go down, I'm feeding the critters, and I happen to look outside, and I see some things in disarray on my patio, and I was like, what the heck? What? Open the door, and like, oh, all my yeah. cushions have blown off. That was the worst, the worst thing that happened to me was my patio umbrella was at the other end of the yard, yeah. and I would just gotten this umbrella this year. Not a real super expensive mm-hmm. one, I know, because I know they can be really, really expensive. It's yeah. like a fifty dollar umbrella, but still fifty bucks is fifty bucks. To exactly, me, right? exactly. And so I'm looking at it. It looked like it was still in one piece. My fault. This is how little I was aware that this storm was coming. <laughs> I left the umbrella up oh, the night before. Yeah. So it was like just no begging. Idea. It was begging. To I didn't be think it was going to be like this though. I didn't either. I thought, well, no. okay, cool, a thunderstorm. Exactly. Neat. So I left it completely extended, so it was ready for takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it probably tumbled. Probably. <laughs> and so when I go grab it, one arm was broken and it's met their metal arms yeah. and one arm broke at the elbow where it folds up. And so I'm looking, I'm thinking there's got to be a way to fix this because oh, definitely this, I'm not going to throw this away. Yeah. That's not going to happen. And so go to YouTube, how to fix an umbrella <laughs> arm. There it is. Piece of cake. First, first video. Uh, seriously. So if, if this ever happens to you, I'm just going to throw this out there. The only thing you have to buy if you don't already have it, and lo and behold, I have it and I can't remember why, is a rivet gun. <laughs> oh. Which will come in handy in this case. Yeah. As opposed to screws and nuts. Yeah. Okay. But a piece of copper and then drilled three holes in it. You put yeah. the arms in and then the elbow goes there and put the rivets on each end and then the screw in well, the middle for the elbow. Look at you, handy Jill. Whoa. <laughs> Me and Ace Hardware had a meeting yesterday. <laughs> And so, yeah, so it worked, yeah. and the, the video was, <laughs> I just had to laugh. I'm like, you can literally find anything, anything yeah, whatever you're needing to fix. You're an expert on everything now. Without a doubt. I do feel bad for some of the, the folks in Omaha that had, like, oh, completely God. uprooted trees and, I mean, the I damage. Even... I, trying to get here today to the oh. studio, yeah. there's a drop-off point down the street for branches and, oh, and right. limbs and stuff like that. So I went, I normally come in that way. I had to go around I was like dang that's what I saw there were the lines one of them was on f street I think and there's another one that was at west Mm -hmm. and the lines like for hours yeah all these all the pickups and the trailers because I think today um I think they're giving people until like Thursday Mm. to get the everything cleaned up but I'm like what if you haven't had electricity for two freaking days exactly and a lot of people don't right I can't even imagine I that. And feel I feel terrible. I didn't even have a blip. I mean, it's yeah. like I almost, I, I feel guilty because yeah. I had no clue. Our office had the power was off. Everything yeah. was blinking. Um, but that's okay. I mean, we were, everything was fine there. But I look at, yeah, people with, oh God, the siding blown off. And yeah. like you said, the trees. Or trees and 
Uh, roofs. A, trees a, in roofs. A friend yeah. of mine said a tree fell on her house. She just bought this house this <sighs> last year, so that's... <laughs> That's not fun. Oh, oh my, God. my new neighbors did the same thing. The tree fell, didn't hit their house, yeah. but they had spent the day taking the rest of that tree down. It was a big tree. Yeah. Um, but they're fortunate because it didn't hit anything on their house, but it still was a lot. There's a lot still of Still a lot of cleanup. Yeah. Ton for of sure. A ton of cleanup. So, yeah, so we made it through that. That's all good. Um, the thing that I, <laughs> the other thing that I found on the internet, oh. because I was looking to solve another problem, um, and I've talked about this before, my, my backyard. I'm on a circle, Mm -hmm. so the backside of my house backs up to a street, yeah, which is the main street going by, and so people walk their dogs by there, which drives my dog crazy Mm -hmm. because their dogs nose their way along my fence, yeah, and then they all pee and poop right there, and that that little patch of yard looks awful. Oh, I bet it's just it's straight up yellow, gross. (laughs) It is so gross. Yes, yeah, and so I'm I'm thinking, how can I keep people from letting their dogs pee on yeah. that, you know, a sign's not going to stop them. Aside from just standing out there, <laughs> waving your arms. Right? Like, it's like, okay. And we've talked about putting up cameras and I'm like, well, that doesn't solve the problem yeah. because I can see who did it, but I can't stop them. Right. So can you put a ring doorbell out there? Like one with an intercom? Like, like, Hey, I wish. Oh, that'd be, perfect. get out of here. Get off my yard. <laughs> get off my lawn. <laughs> Literally. Um, but yes, Google how to keep dogs from peeing on your yard. It's out yeah. there. It's popular. And there were several articles about this. And one of them suggested fencing, like decorative or ornamental fencing, like two, three feet tall. Yeah. And then maybe th- so they can't get in there. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, that might look a little weird, unless I had right. something really cool planted back there. But I then I do don't, that. you know, I could like, you know, decorate, you know, plan along the fence. And I'm like, God, that's a lot of work. Yeah. But then <laughs> I found the one that had, there were two different recipes, if you will. Oh, yeah. For sp- I was going to say spray, probably. Yep. Yeah. And I think that might be the way to go. It smells and bad to them. It's mostly, yeah, peppers, cayenne in particular, yeah. or straight up black pepper. Uh, yeah. One person wrote, if you just buy because black pepper, she said she took just straight up black pepper and it wasn't a huge area though, but she put it all over the grass yeah. in that area where the dogs always stop because they don't, the minute they sniff They're it, like, they sneeze. Oh. Yeah. Right. So they don't want to go there. I'm like black pepper might be the, yeah, might be the ticket. I may have to think about it, but. How do I get my dog to stop? doing that in the middle of our backyard <laughs> and he's a horse yeah. so it's like giant patches of yellow does he everywhere. have like a spot that he doesn't have a it's spot. literally in the in middle the- of the yard <laughs> like a, a very large circular area that he doesn't go outside of <laughs> Jack right in is, the middle i gotta give jack credit because he, when he poops he always goes by the fence yeah so at least I'm, I'd prefer he, that. He's not running through it. Thank God. Yeah. When we're out running around or I'm not walking through it if I happen to be out in the yard. Yeah. But he always, he has his two favorite spots where he likes yeah. to go. And the same way with peeing, always in the same spot. So I need to just like yeah. give up on it because that spot is just yellow. Um, yeah. But I can deal with that. But no, he, it's kind of funny because he does have his favorite places. Yeah. Horses. And when you know, growing up, we had horses and, and it's weird you'd have one horse in particular, they'd always poop in one area. Yeah. Always in one corner. So it was always piled up in one corner. Others would poop everywhere. Everywhere. And then I always had, <laughs> there was always one horse that always pooped in his water bucket. <laughs> always <laughs> pooped in his water bucket. You'd think cause and effect, cause and right. effect would kind of figure this out sooner You'd or later. Stop doing it. It's the worst. But yeah, they usually have a spot that they like. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So anyway, so I did, I did look that up and yes, there is a way to make that happen. Thankfully. Um, and then the other thing I saw, Ben and JLo are back together. I saw that. I was like, what? what? Am I literally in the <laughs> Did 90s? Did I hit my head? <laughs> it wasn't the 90s, but it was like the early 2000s, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Wasn't she? I thought she was with uh, um, Derek Jeter. Yeah. No. No? A-Rod. 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 They very broke- different. Very different. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> You might get some emails about that. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah. A-Rod. And and A-Rod's been catching a lot of flack for being kind of a, kind of a D-bag. Yeah. You know, because of late, because he's like Mr. GQ. And then he's buying up all this stuff and he wants to do all these things and be an entrepreneur. And and he had J-Lo on his arm and. And I'm wondering. Like, when did they even break up, first of all? And second of all, why then Ben Affleck? And they said that, because when she was with him, it was 20 years ago. Yeah. When she was with him. And at that time, I got to think here, because then he left. Benefer, right? Benefer. That's where Benefer was. Yeah. <laughs> that was like one of the first ones, I think, yeah. two of those. Because that was before Brad Pitt and uh, 
Jennifer Angelina. Aniston. Uh, Jennifer Aniston. Oh, and, or, that was before then. Then Angelina Jolie mm. was right on the heels of that. That was all happening about the same time. But the J Lo thing, they've been spending a lot of time together, and you're seeing the pictures of yeah. them now because they're they're back and they are back together. And they said that that a lot of people are telling her to take it slow. And all of a sudden, she's like, I'm already over dated 50. this dude. I yeah. know this guy. <laughs> right. Um, and he was in a really bad place when she was seeing him. Yeah. The gambling the, the and the drinking. Addiction, yeah. Right? And then Jennifer Garner. Yes. Right? They were married for a long time. Long they? time. They have three girls. Yeah. And I think the oldest one is 13 or 14. And J-Lo's twins are 12 or 13. Oh. And so they all are like the same age. Yeah. Their kids are. And... She said the reason why was she had seen him a couple times and he's changed so much from the person he was before. Yeah. But how good he is with his girls. Yeah. I think that that matters yeah. a, like a great deal. Mm-hmm. Like, especially like at that point in your life, I think that mm-hmm. that's a, like a huge deal. Plus she, like people grow yeah. up and like are in different seasons and whatever. So maybe yeah. like it'll work out better this time. I honestly, They're I think. They're a good looking it, couple I together. It. I know. And I've always rooted for him. Yeah. You know, he's like easy to cheer for kind of guy. Yeah, and, and for you sure. don't want to believe that he's got all these demons. Yeah. Um, I like Jennifer Garner fine. But right. you know, for what and I don't blame her either because she probably was like, I've had enough of this crap. Right. And, yeah. And, you know, see you later. But I think that's kind of kind of cool. And it kind of makes her it it does more for her, in my opinion, than it does for him. When yeah. you put the two of them getting together. She always comes off to me just a little bit. She's not Jenny from the block. Okay? Right, right. Yeah. No, that was that was a long time ago. Um, I, I saw the picture. I don't remember where I saw it. It was probably, it was scrolling through news feed. And I was like, wait a minute. What? what? Yeah. Was and like, they're this, dressing the same? Wait, TBT? What's happening? What's going on? Is this a, what, what's going on? Is this a challenge? What are right. we doing? Like, yeah, it was crazy to see. That. And you're right. They were dressed the same. It's like full on khaki outfits <laughs> together the white was it the white shirts and the khaki pants? yes yes that's hilarious yeah but it looks like they just picked up right where they left off and exactly looked and, happy. and i think like they're, they're already a good time like spending weekends together and it's like they just you're right just picked up right where they left yeah. off but you hear those stories every once in a while and they work out really well because you both yeah. grown in the places you needed to grow yeah, yeah. they separate for, for whatever reason you take a different path because it wasn't right at that time yeah and then you see them get back together like 40 years later and you're like, oh my God. Like the happiest ever. Happiest ever. So 20 years. I still wait, can't believe it's been 20 years. I can't either. I was like, wait, that was like when I was a senior in high school. Yeah, what? I don't even want and why was, that God, God, yeah. why was that 20 years ago? Why was that 20 years ago? So yeah, so yeah. that was the big, uh, I want to say the entertainment story that caught my eye this weekend. Otherwise, I'm just, I, I did see the uh, Branson with Virgin Galactic. I didn't, I saw that it was successful and... Uh, yeah. some of it on the news this morning. I think he but. tickled space and he's back and so yeah. it was all good. So overall successful. Now isn't Bezos I think Amazon that's guy he's in the next couple it. weeks. Yeah. I think. But they're think going further up. Of course they are. I think they were going sixty two <laughs> miles instead of fifty three. Of course they are. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one up, gosh, what it, what it must be like to have billions of dollars and go twelve <laughs> miles higher in the sky. So he's gonna go into space. <laughs> right. And stay there a little longer, probably. Probably. Just so he can say that he did more than Branson. Branson right. doesn't care. But I didn't realize that he had been, Branson had been, like, invested in this for, like, 17 years. I think. Is when he started the I didn't Virgin know the Galactic. Number. Exactly. Yeah. And I think his intention always was, I mean, look at the name. Right. right. Galactic. Um, I know that he's a huge risk. Who was the other guy? Who was the guy that was the huge risk taker that disappeared? Um, oh, God, I don't know. And he was another, I'll have to look him up, but I can't remember. We need our fact checker here. I know. Nick's not with <laughs> us this morning. I, God, isn't there one that, that he disappeared in the California, that desert, the desert out there? Um, oh my God, where's that story in my head? I hadn't thought about this forever. But these guys, as far as, yeah, the inspiration to go to space. Yeah. It's kind of, it is cool. I know it's going to become more of a commercial thing. And that's probably a good thing to a degree because as they, as we all know, I mean, I love NASA because I love Clay Anderson, yeah. our astronaut, right? But government programs aren't, com- they're, they're not externally competitive. So they're internally very competitive people. Right. But when you have it commercial, then you have people going at each other, kind yeah. of like Bezos and Branson. So they're going to be competing and they want to be better and better. And then you right. got Elon Musk. Yeah. Who's yeah. also pushing buttons. I literally. can't. What was his, what's his, 
I don't remember. Conglomerate called? I don't remember either. I can't remember right now. I want to say SpaceX, but that's think, not right. Well, is it SpaceX? SpaceX? I, think I think it is. So. Yeah. See, we need our fact checker right. so bad. <laughs> um, but, on, anyway. <laughs> but anyway, yes, that, that was very cool stuff that was going on this weekend. So yeah, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed watching it. I get a kick out of it. Just like you said, watching billionaires go at each other right. is fun. <laughs> I just can't even imagine like having that much money to be uh-huh. able to like invest in something like that and not being worried about no. like whatever. Right. Like it's just a, Another thing that I that invested I did. money into. <laughs> I was super excited this weekend because I got a couple of indoor outdoor rugs that were half price at Kohl's. Yes. And I was freaking <laughs> happy. Rugs are expensive. Too by the expensive. Way. Why? And I'm like, this is less than if I buy the indoor outdoor carpet at Lowe's. Right. And that's because I was just gonna buy a twelve by twelve chunk to throw out there. And so I got the two. I am so stiff and sore today. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up this morning, I'm like, why does my why do my abs hurt? What the hell? Right. Well, I moved all my patio furniture to put these rugs out. Yeah. Sorry, got off the it's, off course it's here, but bizarre. Like, <laughs> what the, the things that we get excited about as normal people? Yeah, uh, you know exactly <laughs> like, right. I found my dog food for ten dollars less than it normally is. I scooped it up. See, <laughs> right there. I'd buy two. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Half price. Super. Thank you for coming in. Yes, I appreciate it. Uh, Pat, you missed out. Sorry, dude. Yeah, um, but we'll get caught up with you later. Whatever, dude. Right, whatever. But so <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So I don't have any of the phone numbers in front of me because I never say them, but y'all know them, and they're in the bio. So yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but we love with you. Rate, review, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Thank you so much. Podcast, a Huda Media Production.